Okay, today we're going to move from bones, uh, the inside of your hand, to the outside of your hand. Uh, people always say that they can't draw hands, and the reason that we can't draw hands is we all know exactly what our hands look like because we see them all day long. They're down here. They're doing stuff for us. We see them. We know exactly what a hand looks like. In particular, we know exactly what our hand looks like because, well, we see them all day long. Um, and it's why people think that uh, drawing hands is hard. So we're going to move to drawing the outside of hands today. And just like yesterday with our sketchbook page where we wanted to make a full page of hand bone drawings, we are again going to make a whole page, meaning the full spread of hand drawings, okay? Making sure that you're kind of changing the pose. Um, obviously, I have two of these. One that's going to draw and the other one is going to pose. So <laughs> um, make sure that that's the way you're kind of thinking about this and then that you're changing the pose as you go. Um, so that you get like some different angles. So, uh, here is my trick and I'll post the Proco video for drawing hands as well, just because he has a little different take on it. Uh, there's obviously no one right way to draw anything. It's just the way that different people find works for them. Um, and so here is something that I've discovered that works really well for learning how to draw hands and it's to, um, not because it can be hard to like keep the fingers kind of lined up. So we talked yesterday about that our finger is as long as the palm of your hand. So these three bones together is the same height as this one bone and then the, the little bones that sit here in this top portion of your, the palm of your hand and the top portion of your wrist. And then obviously the fingers are an extension of that. So if we think about uh, the bones, right, we know that like when I put my knuckles down, this is what I'm seeing. These, this is the top of these bones here. Um, and so this all lines up. Bones are straight. They don't bend. They don't the only place they curve is where they're naturally already curved. Um, and so that can be tricky. It's a lot of like long skinny things to try to draw. So here's my trick for uh, drawing hands. And you can do this like uh, yesterday with uh, like the light colored pencils. You can start with a light colored pencil if you want to. And then go over the top of it with either pen or pencil. Um... You can, of course, just go for it with pen. Um, you can use pencil. We are going to get to the place where we're adding shadows. We're still, uh, right now, just kind of mostly thinking about contour line. But just so you have that heads up, like, I'm constantly asking you guys to finish drawings and make a full range of value. So just contour line isn't what we're going to be aiming for. But for right now, we're practicing how to draw blah, 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 all this weird stuff. So... Um, otherwise known as our hand. And so if like not including shadows right now is fine, I guess we're going to get there starting tomorrow. So here is my trick. Instead of me trying to draw this, my fingers, I am going to draw this, this space in between my fingers. Um, it's called a negative space drawing and you will see uh, that it helps kind of identify where fingers are in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to try to figure out a pose here. And so I'm going to just focus on drawing, like I said, not the finger, but the space between the fingers. So here is this space. Here 
is this space. So you'll notice as I go that I'm not right now going back and drawing the fingers at all. I'm just focusing on that negative area out and around the fingers, including like this little nugget in between these two, this little hole here. All right, and so now what I can do is move to this outer edge if I like. And I'm still mostly thinking about identifying um, that outside space. Like what, what is this space out here, not what is this space, the squishy space. All right, and so you can see I have this now, and that's the negative space drawing of my hand. From this, I can come back and I can add uh, the rest, the positive space, up to and including any like watch or anything that I'm wearing, any jewelry. that comes out so you can see now is when I'm putting my contour line drawing in I am also going to include all of these like little it's some of these like little wrinkly things that sort of help us define. Now I'm gonna come back in here and I can add in like the pad portion of my thumb. I can um, start to think about all of these little details that go into making my hand look like it's actually my hand. Making sure that I'm actually including the things that I can see. Um, always the temptation when we're drawing, right, is to want to simplify things and add stuff that we can't actually observe. Like we want it to be easier, simpler. Our brain wants to make it faster and there is no faster especially when we're drawing a hand. So you can see here as I start to add some of those in, some of these lines, I start to get more volume in my hand. And now I'm gonna come back, oh, I moved my fingers. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to now come back and try to find, there we go where to put the actual contour line for these fingers that I drew earlier by drawing out and around them. Uh, the other tricky thing always about drawing hands is, is that they foreshorten really well because they have all these little bits that end up stacked on top of one another and your brain is going to really yell at you sometimes like this finger is basically coming towards me um, and I can't see a lot of it so it, it's a trick for my brain to want to draw it this way this guy is going to be very similar so just like yesterday I want you to draw a full page of these. Changing the pose. Um, none of them should feel like you laid your hand on the piece of paper and traced it. All of them need to be different. Uh, different sizes is fine. 
Uh, for those of you who have been working digital, I'm fine with uh, digital sketches. Uh, it's merely the difference between using pen and pencil, right? I would still be drawing if I was drawing on my iPad. Um, but go ahead and explore your hand as subject matter. So even without shading, I can come back and I can make some of these lines a little darker. It helps. All right, hands, have fun. Remember, this is practice. So that does mean that some of these are gonna be wonky and that's totally normal. <laughs> some of them are going to be wonky. Uh, but continue on with it, and we'll get to the spot where we are making a project soon. Have fun. Fill your page.